Welcome to the fourth day of Techmas. Today we are going to use the Canvas new quiz tool to create a multiple answer question. If you've already completed the Techmas challenges up to this point, you have a quiz that you've been working in. If not, feel free to use any quiz that you have in your course. To create a multiple answer question, I'm going to click the plus button, the blue and white plus button, and I'm going to select multiple answer. Once I've done that, the screen that looks similar to this will appear. You have the question title. Again, this is not the question. This is an identifier. So I'm going to call this Tecmas 2021.Q3. And again, this is an identifier, so you can find the question later on. The question stem is the question. So I'm going to say, in what months does Tecmas 2021 occur? And I have, again, multiple answers here. So November. And there were two days in November and then December, which is the majority of Tecmas. And I could also say January and February. Notice that on the left side, multiple answers are selected. If one of those, oh, excuse me, I don't know what I did there. So I'll hit the pencil button to edit again. It gives me a chance to show how to edit. So I could change this from any number of options to the actual two correct answers. So if January were correct, I could check January. It is not, obviously, so I will leave it as November or December. I can delete any question by clicking the trash can, or excuse me, any answer by clicking the trash can. I can also add additional answers. So again, let's say that I wanted to add March. I could do that, and I would then have March as a possible answer. Scrolling down the screen, I have the options to show the on-screen calculator, shuffle choices. I can do a partial credit with penalty, so if I can check that option. I can award partial credit, so if somebody gets one as opposed to both of them, or I can say they have to get an exact match. And if you forget that, you can always mouse over that question mark there and click the question mark itself, and you'll get a little bit more of an explanation. You can align to an outcome if you're using standards-based grading, and you can also bank the item for later use. You can change the point value. You can provide just-in-time feedback right here by supplying students with information for correct answers, incorrect answers, or general feedback regardless of the answer. I'm not going to do that for this particular question. I'm simply going to click done. And you can see there is my multiple answer question. And that's what you will screenshot and turn in in the appropriate area for today's Techmas challenge. Do you have any questions? Please let me know.